I got a lot of good responses for my video on aliasing, plus some criticism as well. And it was well deserved because they made a good point. The preset that I used had delay and reverb on it. So I asked my wife, the NASA scientist, what she thought about it, and she said yes, the test results were confounded because the delay and reverb affected the sine wave. Okay, so here I sit properly chagrined. The only thing I can do now is redo the test with a bone dry preset. And as some of you guys know, this is not the first time that I've redone a test. I hung up my lab coat a long time ago, but I will dust it off one more time. All right, let's get into it. Again, I had to configure each modeler to accept a digital file from my digital audio workstation. You know, that's an easy process. If you're interested, you can check out my video on reamping, which explains how to set up both your modeler and your digital audio workstation to use digital input. I'll put a link in the description, but let me just go over real quick here. What you would do is you would click on setup, then you'd go over here to audio, input one, you change from analog to digital, and digital input source is USB channels five and six. For the original test, no talk guitar amp plugins reviews asked if I would run the sine wave sweep through an EVH preset. The one that I found was number 295, later Eddie. It had delay and reverb, which I didn't think about. So for this test, we're gonna use preset number 31, angle severe. We'll use scene six, channel one dry. If you look at my project layout in Logic Pro, you can see the test file that was used as the input is track one. The XFX3 track is track two, the FM9 track is track three, and the FM3 track is track four. I'm also using the Voxango Span plugin, so we can get a visual representation of the aliasing artifacts. First, I'll play the input file. Just like last time, I hear zero aliasing on my studio playback system, and the spam plugin shows nothing. Okay, now let's try the Axe FX3. Now the FM9. And finally, the FM3. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this rectifies any of the issues that we had with the previous aliasing test. Now next Wednesday, we are gonna be back at the factory looking at a new preset for preset of the week. You don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right guys, have a great weekend and I will see you next week.